Kingdom tried to usher him. However, he declined to mold the wealth and prosperity. The Chukita had only one desire, a son who could be named his heir. After many long years of prayer, the Chukita was finally blessed with four sons. Rama, believed to be the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, Bharata, Lakshmana, and Shatrunya. As the years passed, the young princes worked to be strong and valiant. They were the pride of both their father and the kingdom. One day, the royal guru, Sri Vishwamitra, decided to take Rama and Lakshmana to Mithila to attend a beautiful princess Vayagada, a ceremony where the bride chose the groom from a group of suitors. A story made him fear. King Janaka's palace, Mithila. Welcome, great kings and young princess. This sun will rise for my beautiful daughter Sita. Here is the mighty bow that Lord you have gifted me. Who can lift the bow and string it will win my daughter's hand in marriage. May the best man win. Ah, uh, I can't lift the bow. <laughs> I can't lift the bow. <laughs> I can't lift the bow. Why do you have to stay like this? I can't lift the bow. I give my consent. You are strong and wise, and I believe you will be a suitable husband for my daughter. Rama and Sita get married and travel to Ayodhya. They are welcomed warmly by King Dasharatha and the people of Ayodhya. Look at her. King Dajrata prepared to announce Rama as the next king. His wife Kaikeyi, however, wants to make her son Bhatta the king instead. She confronts Dajrata and demands that he grant her a boon for saving him in a battle won. She asks for Rama to be sent to exile for 14 years and for Bharata to be made the king of Ayodhya. Bound by his promise to the queen, Vichyanatha has no choice but to agree. The heavy heart, I demand you to leave the palace at once and not return for 14 years. Bharata will be the next ruler of Ayodhya. But what? Let me think of our discussions. I will do as you command, father. Whatever happens, I will keep your promise to mother Kaikei. I am coming with you, wherever you are, it will be my home. I am coming with you too, brother, nothing you say can stop me. Rama, Sita and Lakshmana set out into the forest to lead a life of exile, but met with Rama in the forest and falls in love with him. She disguises herself as a beautiful woman and visits Rama, but he refuses her advances and enraged Lakshmana cuts off her nose and sends her away. Surpanaka runs to her brother and narrates what happened and also tells him about Rama's beautiful wife Sita. Ravana decides to capture Sita and leave Rama away for a facing sister. <laughs> Under no circumstances are you to leave her alone. As you wish, brother. 
Papa sets out in search of the golden cure, not knowing that it is actually the demon, Padicha in the sky. Padicha had transformed into a golden deer, scared Rama away from Sita and had Ravana capture her. Did you hear that, Lakshmana? That was your brother's voice. Go, help him. But I promise not to leave you alone here. Go now. I saved your brother. I will not go. Okay, but no such things. Take your elephant. Sir, you as long as I'm excited. No harm can come to you. Okay, I will not step out. Now go and help my husband. Are you all right? That was not me. The deer was actually a demon in disguise. It was him you heard. Did you leave Sita alone? Yes. She persuaded me to come and help you. Something is not right. We must go at once. Please, can you give me some food? I am tired and hungry. Please wait. I will bring you something to eat. Please, come and get your food. I cannot cross this line. Oh, generous soul, will you not provide food for this hungry man? I cannot cross the line. Run for your protection. It is you who can come to me. So be it. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. ha, ha. You are now mine. Your husband will pay what he has done. You demon, you can never take me. Help! Help! Husband who must come for me. 
but it is he who sent me to look for you. I refuse to move from this place till I see my husband. Go tell him that I am safe and that I am waiting for him to take me from here. As you wish, Master Sita. I bring good news. Master Sita is alive and well. I have found her. You bring joy to my ears. Where is my wife? She is in Lanka, the demon king Ravana's kingdom. He is holding her captive there in a group, guarded by demon warriors. Come on, Hanuman. Did you bring Masita with you? I offered to bring her back here, but Masita refused, saying she will wait for Prince Rama to come and rescue her. Then we will not waste any more time. Let us march to Lanka immediately. Let's go at once. All my troops will accompany you to Lanka, Prince Rama. Thank you, Sukriva. So Rama and Lakshmana marched towards Lanka with Sukriva and his monkey army. When they reached the ocean, the monkey army swept the bridge across the ocean to Lanka. Rama and his army finally arrived in Lanka. Jai Sri Ram! Jai Sri Ram! Jai Sri Ram! Rama the head, but every time he does, a new head appears in the grave. Rama prays to the God, takes out the second arrow, and aims it at Ravana's heart. The arrow pierces the demon's heart, and he falls down and dies. The demon gazes at him. You have come for me, Sita. Ravana has been killed. I am here to take you back. A day did not pass when I did not think about you, my lord. A day did not pass when I did not worry about you. I have come now. You are safe. Long live Prince Rama! Long live Ma Sita! Long live Prince Rama! Long live Ma Sita! Having won the war against the demons, Rama and Sita returned to Ayodhya victorious. Their 14 years of exile were complete. The people of Ayodhya welcomed the new king and queen by lighting three years along their path. This is how Diwali is celebrated. The land signifies the victory of good over evil, and the life from the Diyas are set to dispel the darkness of the world. A very, very happy Diwali to every one of you. Now, God takes the joy to them.
really want to sing along with us. <laughs> Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram.